What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to do a video on the three things that I think totally change your AR that cost less than a nice dinner out with your wife. So let's jump into it. Now I know there's a lot of different variants of an AR-15. There are tons and tons of manufacturers out there and tons of parts that you can buy. This is kind of directed to those guys that don't spend a whole lot on an AR and by a lot I mean over a thousand dollars. They haven't really modified one much and they're looking for some upgrades. This is my first AR. I haven't done anything to this other than put a quad rail on it. This is a Bushmaster that I bought years and years ago and like I said I haven't done anything other than back then I put this quad rail on it. This was a great entry AR for me but after owning quite a few of them there's a lot of mil spec parts on this to drive me nuts. So we'll go over those three items that'll totally change the way your gun shoots. So the first thing we're going to go over is a red dot or some sort of optic. This one came with this red dot. I have no clue what brand it is. It's pretty crappy to be honest. It's got a small sight picture. It doesn't hold zero worth of shit and I don't know why I've left it on here this long. Honestly mostly the kids shoot this and we go out shooting. Some sort of optic is the first thing that I would put on an AR. Price aside, this is one of my favorite red dots. I have probably eight or ten of these on different guns. This is a Primary Arms SLX MD25. I bought one of these for a gun a while back and I absolutely love them. It's got a huge sight window. You can see through there you can get them with different reticles either just a dot or primary arms has their own reticle that acss reticle they have multiple different options they are not expensive at all primary arms has an awesome warranty on their stuff it's very good quality like i mentioned i own a bunch of these they're zero eye relief you can set them up wherever you want they come with a bunch of different mounts and they're compatible with a bunch of aftermarket mounts as well. You can put iron sights on there with them as well and, and be able to co-witness, which is nice. And the battery lasts a long time. This one has the ACSS reticle. They also have some night vision settings and they also offer like magnifiers if you wanted to pair it with this. But these are an excellent budget option to throw on your AR. The next thing I would change is your charging handle. A lot of these mil spec guns just come with that mil spec charging handle. These mil spec charging handles are nothing special. The latch is on one side, so you have to pull it from that side. But upgrading from that mil spec charging handle to something like this that's ambidextrous makes a world of difference. There's a lot more grip. You don't have to get that little latch that's in there, and you can get a hold of it from either side and unlatch that to charge your gun. There's a bunch of different companies that make charging handles. These things vary in price. You can find them everywhere. But it's a great upgrade to ditch that mil spec charging handle for something a little nicer and a little more versatile. The next upgrade would be putting a trigger in your AR. Now this just has a mil spec trigger in it still and they're horrible. The trigger pull on them is heavy and I just shoot a lot better with an aftermarket trigger with a little bit lighter trigger pull. You still want it to be safe, you still want all the safety functions to work and everything. I'm just talking about a better cleaner crisp trigger pull which I think will help you be more consistent and totally change the way this gun feels and shoots. So again with budget in mind you can go with something like this. This is a trigger from Palmetto State Armory. It's made in the USA. They claim it's a match grade trigger. I've never tried one so I'm going to throw it in and try it out. This has a three and a half pound trigger pull. Comes with anti-walk pins which is nice. It's a one piece design. It comes in kind of an aluminum case that you drop in. You don't have to mess with springs or anything like that. It's really easy to install. They also sell these with a flat or a curved trigger shoe for whatever you prefer. As with all my videos, I'll have a link in the description that'll take you over to my website and I'll have links and more information about all these parts. You can go check them out over there. I don't sell anything on my website. It's information only, so you guys can go check those out if you want to. But I'm gonna jump over to the bench real quick, throw that trigger in, and show you the difference. Okay, so here I have my Bushmaster. This is empty. Everything's been safety checked. I'm gonna do a quick trigger pull test on it with my Lyman trigger pull gauge and show you guys what this thing's pulling at. Like I mentioned, nothing's ever been done to this gun. It is 100% factory other than this handguard. So that first pull is seven pounds, one ounce. six pounds, 2.4 ounces. And five pounds, 8.3 ounces. So that averages to six pounds, 3.9 ounces. So over a six pound trigger. 
I'm going to take that palmetto trigger and put it in my gun that I showed you earlier with the red dot on it, and we'll see what the difference is compared to this one. So just to show you, this is what this comes with. It comes with a trigger that's all encased in this aluminum body. So you have one whole unit you just drop in, and it comes with a few wrenches, uh, the anti-lock pins, and the little screws. You will want to throw some blue Loctite on these once you get it set in there so the screws don't rattle loose. Now YouTube won't let me show you installing this thing, which sucks because a lot of people like to see that stuff, but they demonetize the videos and it won't let me show you that stuff. So I'm going to throw it in really quick and then we'll take a look at it. So I got that new Palmetto State Armory trigger installed in this. So we're going to do some trigger pull tests and see how it changed compared to that other one. Two pounds, 14 ounces. Two pounds, 10 ounces. Two pounds, 12 ounces. So that averages two pounds, 12 ounces. And my trigger pull gauge may be a little bit off. But let's jump back up off the bench and take a closer look at this stuff. So that new trigger that I installed is pulling a little bit lighter than expected. But you can see that flat bow in there. It's kind of a skeletonized flat bow. It feels good on your finger. There's no hot spots or anything. Let me show you the take up and reset. So there really is no take up. There's a little bit of slop in the shoe, but no, no pressure for the take up. Brakes nice and clean. Nice short reset, nice crisp break on that. And if we compare it to this trigger, it's really firm right off the get-go. Not much take up. But that takes a lot more pressure to get that trigger to break. And then here's the reset, a little bit gritty, nice solid reset, and the break again. So that Palmetto trigger will be a nice upgrade for this gun. If you haven't seen the build video I did on this gun, I'll leave it down in the description. I go through all the parts and pieces that I used on it. This was a custom monthly builder set that Aero Precision did uh, that I built out. So if you want, go check out that video. For all you guys in the comments that I know are gonna say something, yes, this does have a pistol brace on it. I'm filming this before the whole brace band bullshit rule goes into effect. So as of right now, I'm not a felon. I'm not sure when I'll put it up, but when it's up, that band might be in effect, but as of filming this, it is not in effect. But those are the three upgrades that I would recommend doing to your AR to totally change it. Put in an aftermarket trigger, an ambidextrous charging handle, and a nice red dot. These options I just showed you are all very budget friendly. Like I said, I'll have a link in the description that takes you to my website. You can go check all this stuff out. You can check out all the parts that I used on this build. I also have information on all the gunsmithing tools and, and stuff like that that I use here in my gun room. So you guys can go check that out. Thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll check you guys on the next one.